Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to some more Field of Glory 2. Ain't that a pretty sight? We are getting back, playing as the Sertorians, of course, trying to take down the Romans. And it hasn't been easy. In fact, you might want to take a look at the first video we did, which I'll hopefully link in the description below, but really it's just the last video on the channel. Uh, and take a look and see how we did. Um, we're still trying to win, of course. We've done all our moves for this turn, more or less. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, turn it over to the Romans, and hope that we come out of this with our skin still attached. Come on, Lusitanians! 37. Now that unit broke. That kind of kind of expected that. Um, of course, we've got some enemy units routing too. And what we're trying to do is fold their left as well as kill their general on the right. Um, easier said than done, believe it or not. And it looks like they're charging. We, they already broke one of our units. Barely got into a fight. Fragments in another, and this is where things get very, very dangerous, uh, because now they're actually breaking our right, and I think it's kind of a, it's kind of a race now to see who can break who first. Um, we've got quite a few men riding. One of them has rallied, and it makes sense that they did, because they were actually, you know, they didn't even get into a fight yet. They were just broken by the Roman charge, it's just the strength of that Roman charge that broke them. So hopefully they will be able to uh, get back to their normal strength. All right, it's our turn, boys and girls. Um, so first things first, uh, I think I definitely want to start moving this warband over here uh, to start moving towards the enemy. We definitely want to hit these Romans. I was hoping to hit them on the flank. So I'm going to try to move this missile unit up. I'm going to go ahead and throw some missiles at Caselis Longinus, and we're going to do an impact flank charge here on the Romans. Disrupt it. That's a pretty good start. 36, they are fragmented. One more hit and they're going to break. But actually, we have a unit that's about to break too. Thankfully, we have another group here of the Spanish Scutari, uh, sort of our version of legionaries. Although, we also have imitation legionaries, which aren't as good as the real thing, but they're pretty good. And we have some regular Roman legionaries. Remember that at this time period, Quintus Sertorius, uh, the Iberian Peninsula was more or less completely Romanized. Um, of course, people still considered themselves Lusitanians in many cases, but the tribal aspect uh, had died down somewhat. Now, one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fire some missiles into the rear, posterior of this unit here. I'm going to go ahead and move forward, smash through, and see if we can't get one more hit here on these guys. Just trying to throw out as much damage as I can. And we also have a unit here. Now, they're running away, unfortunately. If they were charging, we would have crushed these Roman legionaries. Let's see what we can do here. Move forward. And actually, it looks like we can probably hit uh, Cassilius Longinus with our slingers. And we actually managed to disrupt them. That's a pretty good attack. Um, I'm going to see if there's anything we can do here. I don't think there is. Getting behind the enemy would be a good thing, of course. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Well, we definitely want to take out this enemy general. But it looks like right now our attack is not going to do that well here. We might be able to break them. Now, we have disrupted them. Vatinius Septimianus. And killing one of these enemy generals would be huge. Because one of the worst things that happened during this fight is the fact that, unfortunately, we lost our commander-in-chief. And uh, that makes a big difference. Right there, we just fragmented the enemy. We might be able to break this unit here of Roman legionaries. They did hold firm, but that's definitely promising. 82% with the warband. Come on! And we've broken some Roman legionaries, guys. Beautiful. Now, in a way, that's cool. We actually ran down a few as well. But we still have a lot of work here. Um, as you can see, they've got two Roman legionary units here. And one of them has Fabius Abito, one of the Roman generals. And they're definitely going to be smashing into us this upcoming turn. So I'm looking around to see what we can do. I think all we can do is end the turn and hope for the best. Uh, we do have them at 28% routed, which is pretty good. Um... But you can see that we've got a lot of weak units. I hate to say that, but it's just the, the truth. Here we go. And hopefully they will rally even more. Here we go. Come on. Very even there. Let's see if the warband can hold on. Okay, the enemy held firm. Now, the enemy general held firm, but they did fall back. Uh, that's a good sign, but of course I would have rather routed them. It's the next best thing, though. So here they go. They're going to charge. They're going to break the warband without a doubt hitting them on the flank like that, and if they don't break them now, they'll break them in the next turn. Uh, they just broke another warband there. Definitely not something I wanted to happen. We were relying on that left flank attack, uh, and I hope it's not completely broken down here, but we'll see what happens. Alright, and wow, her warband held firm again. 
Um, I'm always surprised by how strong those warbands are. They seem to be able to really take a lot of damage. Um, let's go ahead. Always like throwing spears in the enemy's back. Throw another bunch of slings here, and let's turn and shoot towards the veteran Roman legionaries. It's, of course, another reason these are so dangerous. These are veterans. Um, they know what they're doing. So we're going to get a flank charge here with our general, Katulalan, son of Utkidon. Um, and we're also going to get a charge, believe it or not, with our light javelin horse. I mean, whatever works, right? So an impact charge here could actually do some damage. Looks like it didn't do enough to kill them there, but at least we're uh, we're starting to see some damage. I'm going to see if there, we have any other units that can get in there. Unfortunately, I don't think so. Let's see, however, if we can go ahead and hit the enemy general. He's going to evade. Not a surprise. I'm going to go ahead and chase the enemy missile cavalry and try to break them because they're not in a very good way. And with enough missile damage, we might be able to shatter them completely. I'm also going to bring the rest of my cavalry forward and hope that they're prepared to take on the Roman threat. Let's see what we can do on this side. I really do want to charge, but... I'm almost certain that that general unit is just going to run away. So what we will do is we'll throw our missiles at him. We fragmented him. So I don't think he would charge our unit necessarily. But it looks like we're also stuck here. We can't seem to turn this way, and I'm not sure why that is. So I am going to charge. Uh, looks like he's going to... No, he's not going to hold firm. I should have known better. Uh, but there really wasn't much else we could do. What about the fight here against this enemy? Could we break these Romans? Nine? Ugh, not good enough. What about here? Come on, boys. Seven. Ugh, well, you can see them falling down there. There's no doubt that our men are doing damage to the enemy. Quite a lot of damage, too, but not enough to win the battle. Let's end the turn, guys, and keep on hoping for the best. But I'm worried that this clump of raw legionaries and Thracians could be a problem for us. Of course, raw legionaries don't fight as well as their veteran allies, but they're still pretty damn good. Warband's got a break here. And unbelievably, they actually fragmented one of our Spanish units, the Spanish Scutari. I have to say, the Spanish Scutari have disappointed me a little bit. They really are not nearly as strong as I imagined they would be. And as you can see, our Warband unit just broke, but we kind of expected that to happen. And they're going straight for our general here. Um, our general's actually falling back. They're going to go ahead and try to charge our other cavalry unit. He fell back as well. And this is going to change the battle big time. This is to really coming down to whether or not we can win um, pretty close here, pretty soon here. I mean, with this many breaks, I'm not so sure we can win. I think here they'll break us. Yep, sure enough. And that's going to drop our percentage pretty damn low. 39%. We've got to break this unit for sure. All right, it's our turn. Um, first things first, we must turn towards the raw legionaries. Now, our Roman legionaries are actually better fighters than these raw legionaries, so I'm hoping um, that we can go ahead and really damage these guys. As you can see here, I'm also hoping we can charge in here. Unfortunately, we cannot, but what we can do is get even closer, damage them a little more, and at this point, we're bringing in the warbands, guys. So we're going to push the warband forward, and we've got to try to break this unit this turn. It's very important. Nope. It's not going to happen this turn. There we go. A lot of Romans getting killed here, sure enough. Finally disrupted them with just our missiles. Uh, but I hope... Well, I wonder how much damage we could do here with our Cav. So I'm going to try to move my Cav behind that general, Cassilius Longinus. Uh, in the meantime, I'll try to damage the rest of the enemy here. If I can, get a little closer... Throw some missiles. You can see some of these units are already not in a very good shape. Stayed in Italy too long. Not in very good shape, <laughs> I should say. Uh, let's undo that move because I, I really want to turn this guy around. That's my main concern is getting him around and ready to fight. We'll bring these guys in as well. Might as well go ahead and throw some missiles at the enemy. And at this point, we just keep on working towards uh, hopefully what's going to be a victory here. I think that's pretty much all we can do. It's on the turn. Wish us luck, men. Okay, so that's not a good sign. Some of the enemy units ra uh, rallying, and uh, they're actually some of the strongest enemy units. They also just broke one of our uh, Scutari units. That's really nothing new. I don't want them charging, though. That would be a serious issue. 
So we really need better things to happen to to our uh, to our men right now. There we go. Some units rallying. It's going to help our score a bit, but I'm not sure that those guys are going to come right to the field and fight. And look at that. We broke a Roman unit. Beautiful. That's how we got to do it, guys. Just slow and steady wins the race here. Uh, we, we're not... We're not in a race, is what I really mean to say. Uh, we want to be able to do some damage to these guys and then get the hell out of here. Um, so here we go. Looking pretty good there. I'm actually going to get over here. No. Undo move. I want to get this guy actually away. And the reason I have to not attack is because he'll, st he'll stay there if I attack. Uh, and I want to use these units to charge the enemy. So here we go. It's our warband. 19. We're going to attack him now with our Roman legionaries. Remember, they're just raw legionaries. We've disrupted them a bit there. Let's go ahead and throw some more spears. Throw a few more spears. And would we take on this? No, we wouldn't. I say, would we take on this Roman? And the answer was quickly revealed to me as definitely not. Uh, what about this guy? We really want to charge in here with the noble cavalry and attack. But I think the noble cavalry would actually do better moving over here and preparing to attack the rear of this unit over here. I'm also going to turn this cavalry, or this infantry, excuse me, towards the enemy, and we'll start peppering them with as much missile damage as possible. Try to even up the odds. Come on, men. That didn't do any damage. And we'll keep on hitting this guy as well. This unit, uh, believe it or not, might be broken by our, our missile units. I mean, it is disrupted, and we're just going to keep running away from it. So this might actually work out pretty well for us, at least on that front. I'm not sure about the entire battle, though. All right, we're ending the turn. And again, a lot of enemy units rallying here. <clears throat> Definitely not a good thing. And most of our units are dispersing. Enemy's going to charge. Not a surprise, really. And he's going to try to charge our cavalry, but they're not going to be able to make it. However, they are going to be able to make it against our legionaries here. Oh, wow. We got some fragmentation amongst the enemy. Alright, well, unfortunately, we can't attack with our missile units um, in that unit because it's already in combat. But we can start peppering the hell out of these other units, which are just arriving. And raw legionaries don't do very well with this kind of fire. So I'm going to try to get this guy a bit closer to the enemy general. I'm going to charge the enemy general here. Chances are we wouldn't even do that well in the battle anyway, but I just want to try to hold him. As you can see, he's hard to hold. He's as slippery as a toad. Come on, boys. 16. Could do better than that. Warband. 31. The enemy has broken. And it looks like our men are going to go ahead and lead a charge into the raw legionaries. Go for it. 47%. They're disrupted, guys. Wow. This is interesting. It's getting very, very interesting. Uh, we can actually go ahead and charge the rear with our light melee troops. A rear attack. And even though it didn't really work out that well, I'm glad to see that we we have some tricks up our sleeve. Um, we might even be able to charge these guys. And although we wouldn't do well in continuous combat with these guys, the actual initial charge it was supposed to go pretty well. So it's not too bad. We're definitely not going to win that battle. So I think it's important to try to move our troops up quickly. And, of course, to keep on harassing the Roman units that still remain on the field. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that part two. We're going to be back with part three very, very soon. Keep hitting that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and thank you so much.